here we have the architecture for Z task 14. We have a task ACC priority key task one second. It reads uh, X, Y, and Z accelerometer and uh, writes X, Y, and Z values on the screen. We have the task ACC filter priority task 10 seconds reads X and Y Z uh, accelerometer average and writes X and Y Z values there on the screen and it also takes uh, 10 samples of X, Y and Z values from the previous task, task ACC. Then we have the task plot, periodic task called second. It uh, draws a line that shows the change of the Z axis. Then we have uh, either task, it prints a dot. We have global variables, lots of them. And uh, here we have uh, the main function. For the main we have a void key up down. It makes uh, so it's stuck in a while loop until we press a button. Then it will continue to the main and then all the other tasks. Task ACC, task ACC filter, task plot and either task will start. Here is the code. Uh, here is the global variables. Global time and so on. Here we have the key up down. And just the while loop until we press the button. And in this while loop uh, it writes welcome and then my name. Here we have the accelerometer code. Which uh, yeah gets the x, y, and z values. And prints it out on the screen. Here, the, here we have the average code, which got it from this task. Prints out on the screen. Here we have the time and task code. Prints out the time when I press the button. It's basically we draw some lines and stuff. And here's the task plot code, which uh, writes out, draws the line for said axis change. Here's the idle task, and now we int. Here we have key up down, which I showed you before. Here is my software, which I programmed. It says my name, and if I press uh, the button, It starts to count. It starts to count the uh, <coughs> x, y, and z value. Count time and graph for z value. If it's positive or negative, positive goes up, negative goes down. And if I reverse, it starts going up. And here's the average of x, y, and z value.